that. Uh, second three intro, take two. We apologise for the uh, other video because it was, uh, it was a bit eager. Um, uh, we'll start again. So, right, my name's Aaron. This is my little project. Um, it's a three by two metre by two metre uh, hybrid printer. Hybrid, I mean, it's a tool chain there. So, spindles, scanner, 3D scanner, and a pen extruder. Um, hopefully, eventually, it will be a tool changer. So, automatic tool change on that. That will be later in the future. I'm not swearing on that because I just want to get this unit chucked down to zero. Exciting extreme stuff, I suppose. Um, I'm based in the UK. Um, as I said before, my name's Aaron. I'm a mechanical, electrical fitter, contractor, varies um, in the industries, any industry really. So we we'll get straight into this. Um, as you can see, this is the main frame. Uh, everything comes out quite at the moment. It's not been polished up. It will be a mirror finish eventually. It's close to what I can get it, a mirror finish. Um, main gantry is up above, as you can see. And the bed itself is going to be where I'm going to be standing and not picking up. So, go straight in on what we have to go in here. Um, the pet extruder itself, this is my pet extruder. This is from uh, Robotic, around about 200 pound, um, 20, min 20 millimeter screw. So, not too bad. It's actually quite, uh, quite nicely made. I did buy plenty of extra. Uh, of the rub. Get out of bag. Extra bits. So quick, let's just sew in over here. Ooh, there we go. Um, so the extra nipple, so to speak. Different die sizes, different extrusion sizes. Hoping to try up to about five millimeter if I can, if not higher. Um, it's supposed to be rated around about two kil two kilograms of per hour output. See about that. We'll see if we need that. Um, I do have for it a planetary gearbox, planetary box. This is 20 to 1. So I've got on my servo, so I'm rated 4000 RPM. So I should be able to get plenty of, um, plenty of torque out of that. Hopefully, plenty of material. The material, and let's get the material out as the computer is made up. Um, these are rated 200. Volts, 350 watts. They're made from by a company called Microforms in the UK. Um, so built in bounce up, it's a K type bounce up built into it. Um, the brass insert and this main winding, it's not um, ceramic, it is canvas. I believe. Um, probably look terrible. Don't want to correct me anyway, so we'll see. Um, I've got three of them. Made up, so they should be about 350 watts. So 1050 watts should give you plenty of um, heat power coming out. They're rated over 500 um, degrees Celsius, so you shouldn't have any problem pretty much putting any material up through there. Everything from obviously PLA all the way up to peak F. Um, I want to do the whole 10 10 98 5, be nice with some large layer holes. Um, so that'd be my first project, which I'll be using HDPE. Got that quickly. So it's cool now. Ah. So HDP pellets. Get a few out. Oh, and now I've made a mess. Never mind. I would say I could edit out, but I probably won't bother. Don't know if you can see that, but so you've got some nice little pellets. I'll tell you what, let's go for a little zoom. Apologise for the face. This might give you a better. So they're going to be running my void gantry, my X gantry, obviously, my telescopic Z. And then at the back here, you see, I have a couple of slits here and here. But behind that, there's going to be a 25 millimeter full screw and uh, just some standard damaging um, rails in the back. And that's going to run a 
a separate uh, set of lights come up and down. Um, run out 16 of them at 200 watts. Um, that should, they'll tally up, they'll carry on at a set height from the Z um, on the telescopic arm just to keep the top layer of the material nice and warm. We'll cool it down. Um, sorry, cool it down. <laughs> Stop it cooling down so quick so we can get a good bonding between layers in theory. Um, same leaf red lights I'm using in front of the bed because I did get a few quotes for some silicon heat mats for a 2.5 meter by 2 meter bed. It's quite expensive and actually quite a lot of power, so I ended up with 15 200 watts, so 3 kilowatts, um, 240 volts, I think, for the volts uh, for the bed. Uh, they're weighted to do over 200 or 300 degrees anyway, so hopefully the bed should get nice and warm. I'll paint the bed, uh, sorry, the bed for a matte black flat high temperature paint, so it should help the gear. Uh, it's a medium weight leaf red lights, apparently have deep penetration into the material. Specifically uh, polymers and plastic, so we'll see for that. We'll see if that helps out there. All right, back onto all the other stuff I've got inside. I'll hopefully go inside. Um, 3D sense scanner. So this will, I'll make an arm for this to go onto the Z um, and then just set the parameters for it to do a, a scan to save me having to sit there and I've tried it, it's quite painful <laughs> to sit there and try and keep the set distance. Where you saw my last video, is that a little bit shaky after some energy drinks. Um, I got a bit hyped up after the day, a bit eager to do the video, so yeah, apologies. All right, the next one is the spindle. Oh, Jesus. All right, so it's 2.2 kilowatt four core spindle. Uh, this will be doing all the cutting of the prints, basically, hence the hybrid. So the material goes down a bit thicker than it should be, and then this will come across and bring it where it needs to be. Hopefully, we can put some more detail into it, um, especially when it comes to a layout mold. You can get plenty of um, plenty of fine detail in there then for models. Um, so I was looking at doing some large models. My daughter does. Uh, she, she creates avatars. Um, she's not too bad. It's pretty good. Some of them are a little bit a bit raunchy, but they they can buy them for some strange reason. But each their own, I say. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to print one of hers. Of her main avatars, uh, so that will be once this is up and running, that will be a time lapse video just to kind of uh, introduce the machine, see what sort of detail we can get out of it. Um, their model will be the first one. I've got a Mark II Gold GTI, uh, desperate need of a major restoration. Uh, the door cards are an absolute nightmare to find, and they're all uh, door cards, but they're all rot, so most of them are usually. Uh, way to be put so I've got a good set uh, I'm going to scan it into my computer make another mold make the layout mold and then make them out of a carbon fiber uh, fiberglass layout um, not purely for the aesthetic side of things purely for them they're never going to rot and they're going to last forever so I hope they're all right anyway um, right the next one on is the power supply for my servos uh, it's 36 volts power supplies I have seven of these these are regular Rate of 400 watts if I remember rightly. 500 watts, I think 500 watts. Um, so I've got more power than what I need for all the servos, but I'd rather have too much than too little, so they're overheating. Uh, better safe than sorry. Um, on the control side of things, I'm using a Duet 3 board. Um, I don't have the board with me now, it's on my proxy at home. Uh, running that with a Pi 4, runs pretty good. Um, I've got a Pi 4 on there and I've got obviously high, I've got high winds on there. HD's a bit overkill, well, they are extremely overkill. Quite nice. Uh, on the Core XY with a Super Volcano and a Mera um, direct drive, and that runs really good. Plus, I scored myself a flat back, a uh, built platform, and that works absolutely sweet. So, but for that, additional for that, I have a expansion board from Duet 3D. I actually bought it. Unfortunately, they're always out of stock, um, so it's a show I couldn't pass up. So I had to purchase this from um, E3D. Uh, nice little expansion board to go with the Duet 3. And then also on top of that, to help with my surveys, because you can't directly use, just use it. Apparently, you can send step in direction through the Duet on a little bit more. So I purchased seven uh, 1XD boards. Some Duet again. Um, they have plenty of brilliant support, absolutely amazing. Uh, Gentlemen's, uh, known with their DC44, 
Almighty knows everything and wants anything you could think of. And if he doesn't know, he'll get back to you and find out. So uh, those playing support there, the forums are absolutely fantastic. Um, just the same as just the same as you could even though products are obviously tip top and good. They're not a correct them as um, sort of that shouldn't have yet. So right, on the other side of things I have a ooh, touch pro. That is just a simple, it is, it's just a simple eBay job, a couple of hundred pounds, but tolerance is supposed to be pretty good. Um, well, well, we'll see. Yeah, we will see. I'm not used to all of this, so uh, I can't really gauge it, and the budget is very much um, priority when it comes to all that. Uh, on the other side of things, we have run out. Show and tell, get that looking down, see what I've got to show and tell. But everything's running on high wings. Got my high wings. I get from a company called CRD in the UK. Absolutely brilliant. Prices are good as well, considering what they are. They are pretty good. Um, these are HG HGW20, so these are the wider. As you can see, they are the wider carriages. And that's what's running my wide gantry uh, up above me at the moment. Um, and then I have that for my X and obviously my Z. Um, I think one it was open splurging on high wings for the uh, the light axes because well, they don't need to be at that accurate. Uh, they just kind of keep the level you set, whether it's 300 mil, 200 mil, or higher um, from the actual top of the uh, from the top of the material. So um, on that, so you can see my my that is. Fully because I've got to get 10 things still do, you've got to ship everything and you know, make sure the bumps through. It's not too bad. Um, there's a little bit, doesn't need shipping in, as you can tell, it's a little bit noisy. I'll show you that. Don't do this around this, hey? And my wings are hobbling. Oh, well, I'm trying. <laughs> but it moves pretty good. Um, I can imagine once the extra weight's on there for the Z. Uh, Especially probably another 50 kilos easily on top of the uh, Z axis, uh, telescopic, and then the fourth and fifth axis. Um, once I can get around to getting that built on, I'm going to, I am actually going to build this up as a three axis first, get the moulds made, uh, so I start to do some stuffing, and then also I'm going to have a dab on my spindle to see if we can cut some aluminium for the fourth and fifth axis. But that looks like a brilliant, just a nice, decent tolerance. Satisfied. So, um, I'm going to switch back over. I was working on the bed today. There is going to be a time lapse um, added to as well. So, hopefully, that was better than the last one. We'll see. Uh, <laughs> uh, please leave instructions.